Hi everyone, this is Nicole with Stargazer Soaps, and today I am going to make another Twilight soap. This one is going to be Bella. Here's my lye solution. I'm going to try an in the pot swirl with this. I'm hoping the fragrance doesn't accelerate too much. I haven't been able to find a whole lot on it. From what I can find, it, it doesn't look like it does. It's pretty floral. And floral scents can accelerate. <laughs> We'll see. Hope for the best. This one. Go ahead and add my fragrance now. This smells so good. It's not perfumey at all. It's real light. Sorry for the background noise. The kids and the husband are hanging out tonight, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. I'm not having to soap by myself. I made four batches the other day all by myself. At, nice, the, at first the quiet was nice, but then it kind of got lonely. I've gotten used to having an audience. I did not record any of them though. We went up camping in the mountains and I swam with one of my kids across the lake and didn't put on sunscreen and was covered in second degree burns. So I couldn't talk for several days. some white and some purple that came out good that white might need a little more white I want it to yeah. be white move that out of the way for a second and check out the white here Yep. Luckily, I happen to have some, whoops, that I pre-mixed and just dropped all over the table. <laughs> Looks like I use a lot, but I really don't. for a second. Let me wipe that up. That's a beautiful purple. Looks, we'll see what it looks like when I get it in the bowl. It's pretty much just a guess when you're mixing up your colors. Do I have enough? Do I have too much? Typically, don't like floral scents. I'm more of a citrus or a spicy person. In fact, the other day I made some spicy soap. Um, I did a pumpkin spice. I have to show you. Is that in there? Down. There we go. Pumpkin spice. Um, 
I'm just getting hand gestures. Nobody's talking to me. But anyway, it has nutmeg and cinnamon and clove. And oh my gosh, you just want to eat it. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. And I should have recorded it, but like I said, I couldn't talk. Um, I've been eating through a straw for several days now, so nobody would have been able to understand me. see okay I may have separated too much but oh well gray that is not the color I'm going for so can move that bottle out of the way for me yeah. thank you yeah come on. that I like me too I'm just gonna add a little bit of that you don't want to add the powder in here because you can get um, specks and you don't want to have to mix it that way Let's mix this up a little bit more. Just a I'm afraid I'm over mixing. another batch that I'm doing today so for tonight okay wow. I'm just gonna do an in-the-pot swirl wow. Save some for the top. Okay, and then spatula in and spin. <gasps> Look, wow. beautiful. Wow. Miss Miss, can you get my mold out for me? Nice having helpers. Okay, hold on, I'll grab it. Thank you. Okay, get positioned. I rearranged my soap area. Can you see that? My husband's behind the camera, but he refuses to talk, but he's back there. So I know you can't see me pour. Oh, it is thickening. Oh, that looks actually beautiful. Oh. I actually did this differently than I had planned. I was going to pour my light purple in and then dump the dark and the white in the bowl together and pour that in and uh, I forgot. But this is still beautiful. Yeah, this is still going to be cool. Mm -hmm. 
I like it like this. Cool. I mentioned before, I don't typically plan, but the girls and I have been planning the Volturi or the uh, the Twilight soaps. We did the Volturi the other day, and it came out better than anticipated. I think, which was good. Running out of room. I have four batches curing over there. Plus all of my supplies from the next batch. Let's do white first. This didn't thicken, but that did. But I guess I did mix that purple quite a bit. I just got all of my holiday smell scents in the other day. Hard to believe that it's August. I guess it's almost September, but I'm already planning Christmas soaps. Done a couple of fall scents. Apple and the pumpkin spice. And they smell just amazing. Somebody came over today and said, oh, what are you baking? It smells so good in here. It's just soap. Mm, this purple got thick too. It's beautiful. Thank you. Probably won't be able to get this one cut for a couple of days. That is what's hardest for me, is waiting to see what's on the inside. Yeah, I love cutting it and mm. looking in the inside. Me too, because it looks so awesome. Every piece is always a surprise, isn't it? Yep. <sighs> Sorry, somebody's alarm going off. I don't know that this is going to be ready to texture. Am I still in the frame? How do I want to do this? My white is really runny, so I'm going to pause this and come back in a minute. Okay, it is set up enough. Oh, my purple is really set up. My white is still a little loose, but if I wait any longer, I'm not going to be able to texture it. thick under there. Probably waited too long. I was trying to get ready for my next batch. So let's see what I can do to salvage this. not too bad. And a little bit of glitter. We'll make it just perfect. Mm. Wow, that's pretty mm -hmm. gorgeous. Oh, it looks like a diamond tree mm. from here. <laughs> Make sure I got it everywhere without getting too much on there. 
Not that you can really have too much glitter. But I think that'll do it. So there you have it. There is Bella um, from the Twilight soaps that I am doing. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.